Hi, my name is Carrie Alter. I want to talk today about boundaries. We were just talking with a friend about how when you go through life, you don't really realize, you're not normally conscious of where your boundaries are or aren't and where somebody else's boundaries are or aren't. So you may be standing at a traffic light waiting across the street and you're just doing fine. You're in a great mood. <clears throat> Everything's fine. And then next thing you know, all these negative thoughts are coming through your head and and uh, then you get where you're going and you uh, knock over a box of paper clips or, you know, just everything has shifted and you don't know what happened. And if we could be watching your life from an energetic standpoint, we would see that when you were waiting at the traffic light, you were standing next to this really angry person who was totally bummed out that day. And because you didn't have a good boundary and you didn't even know you didn't have a good boundary, you kind of absorbed some of their emotional baggage, what was going on for them that day. So one of the things that we do in the work is we become more aware of our boundaries. Where, how far do we go? Where do we end and somebody else begin? And we become more aware of when somebody is transgressing over to our boundaries. I was at a party the other night and uh, we were all sitting around the table and it was very intimate and one person left early and then somebody else came late and she sat right next to me in this empty seat that had opened up and as soon as she sat down it's like I could feel her energy field like bleeding over into into my space and I wanted to get up and move to a different spot, but there were no other spots. Every chair was taken. And I thought about asking somebody to change seats with me, but then I felt bad to ask them to sit next to this person. That didn't feel good either. So I just stayed where I was and I strengthened the edges of my field. Just kept, I just kept worrying. I had to work it for like 15 minutes. This person was very, had a very strong feel that kept coming over into my space. And that's one of the skills that we develop in the work that we do together. It's like, how do you, how do you know where you are? Well, your energy field goes out normally about an arm's length from your body. And if you feel nervous, it might contract. If you feel afraid, it's gonna contract. And when you feel, when your heart's feeling really peaceful and you're feeling really lovely and loving and radiant, it's going to expand. And I know that you've all had that feeling when you feel expansive. And we work a lot with those kinds of feelings. When do I feel contracted and when do I feel expanded? And that is the best guide that you can have in your life. So we learn how to pay attention to what the body is feeling and from there we notice what the energy field is doing. When I feel contracted, when I feel knots in my stomach or just tension in my body, then I know that my energy field is contracted. And when I feel relaxed and expansive, then I know my energy field is also expanding. And it can expand to include everything. And I read this study once that people, households where people are about to get divorced, the appliances break more often. So even though we think that appliances are not alive and don't have feelings or whatever, somehow they are affected by everything around them, just like we are affected by everything around us in ways that we don't have a clue, really. We're just not even aware of that. And so, once again, the answer is always more presence because awareness is always there, but we only notice it if we're present. And we can talk about awareness and I can say, well, bring your awareness to this part of your body or to this event. But the truth is the awareness is always there. It's just that because we weren't present, we didn't notice it. And the way you're able to access it is because the awareness is always there. So for instance, if I ask you to think about your right big toe, there it is, there's your right big toe. Now you can feel it right now. 
Just because you weren't feeling it before didn't mean you didn't have a big toe. <laughs> you had it. It's just, and I could say it wasn't in your awareness. It was in your awareness, but you weren't present enough to notice that it was in your awareness. And the thing that's really cool is that that tells us that we can access anything and everything, really. You can access every moment of your life, really. When you're working with something that happened in the past, it's really in the present. And the only reason that you're going to it is because it's still alive in the present. So say, for instance, somebody said something that you didn't like, and then you remember that they said this thing you didn't like, and then you tell your friend that they said something, that this other person said something you didn't like. So it's like each time, it's as if that person said it again and said it again. So you're giving it life. You, and this is a way that you're creating how you're feeling in that moment. How are you feeling in that moment? So how does this have to do with boundaries? Because you're going out of your own self. So you have a, a boundary in the present, in the present moment. And you're actually, I don't, it's hard to talk about this because it's not a linear boundary. So you're not going out of your boundary linearly. So say your boundary ends at the end of your arm in this moment. Uh, to go into the past, you don't go beyond that. It's sort of an inner boundary. So you're going through kind of a warped space. Oops, no pun intended. <laughs> it becomes kind of a warped where we keep going back into the past again and again to pull this event into the present so that we can suffer, so that we can suffer with it. So how do we be present with that enough to allow it to open up to us and allow it to diffuse? Those are the kind of things we work with in, our, in the work that we do together. And when we start to clear out this attachment to the past and to the different events of the past, then we begin to be able to access the creativity and, and uh, motivation to move ahead in our lives. And uh, a few of my clients recently have started their own businesses, quit their day jobs or put the day jobs on part-time in order to start their own businesses because they've been able to let go of some of the past and have freed up all this energy to move into places that they've wanted to move in the present. So I hope you feel drawn to contact me and we'll do some work together, come to a class, try it out, come have a session, and uh, see how free you can really feel in your life. Thanks. Bye.